Dylan here from C3 Academy. In this lesson, we're going to show you how you can use the text effects within PowerPoint to literally get your text to pop out or stand out within your PowerPoint presentation. Case in point, if you look at my title slide here, you see pretty much the typical utilization of text that people will do within PowerPoint. What I'm going to show you here are some different options of how you can actually get your text to jump out. By using the text effects throughout your presentation, you can get your text to become an image within themselves. Let me go ahead and show you what we're going to do in this tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can take text, outline it, add a gradient, or add a border to it with a gradient, or any different combination. But right now we're going to concentrate on these three options. I'm going to go ahead and hit Escape. So the first thing I need to do is insert some text that we're going to work with for this demo. I'm going to go ahead and insert and click on text box. I'm going to come down here and just click anywhere on the slide and type in the word text. I'm going to make sure it's all selected. And I'm going to go up here and just enlarge the text. I'm going to make it quite large since this will be the only text on this page. Yeah, let's bring that up here. Now, right now, the font is in Arial. I want to go ahead and change this to a font in the same family. I'm going to go ahead and change it from Arial to Arial Black. It might be just a little large. There we go. Now I'm going to select all the text. I could just come up here and change the color of the text, but I want to actually add some of the options we talked about. So I want to right click on the text, go all the way down to the bottom and make sure we click on Format Text Effects. I'm going to pull this over to the left a little bit so we can see some of the applications of the effects we're going to apply to our text. Now let's just kind of go through it, just a few of these here right at the moment. Let's go to Text to Fill and you notice it's set to a solid fill. Well, right now, this is black on blue, very difficult to see. This would be actually a poor use of color within a presentation because not a lot of contrast. I can simply change that if I really want to use black to add a text outline. Let's go to solid line, and let's make it white. And I'm going to go ahead and change the outline style and increase the font size. Now, you notice in all these boxes, you have other options which you can play with. I'm going to go up here and just increase it just a little bit so it j jumps out. So right now, that black text will actually stand out within this presentation. I can go up here to Text Fill and change it from Solid Fill to No Fill. But what we want to actually do is add a gradient. So I'm going to go up here and click on Gradient Fill under the Text Fill options. And it's going to go ahead and assign it to whatever I've used last. Right now, this is kind of a blue going to green. And it has two stops. I want to go ahead and add a third stop. And by the way, you can have, have as many stops you want in here. I'm going to go ahead and just delete that. I just deleted it by pulling it down. And I want to go to the first stop. And let's make this an orange. And go to the third stop. Make that an orange as well. And in the middle, let's go ahead and make that a white. Now we kind of have an orange, white, orange gradient with white being in the center. You notice on the top we have orange, on the bottom we have orange. I want to make it a little tighter, bring it in towards the center. So I'm going to go to the third stop and bring that in just a little bit. And go to the first stop, bring that in a little bit. So you can have a lot of different adjustments of the gradient and how it looks. I can also come down here, change the transparency of a stop. So if I want to make it 100% transparent, I can literally just have it white transparency in the center. So again, lots of different options. You can play with this. And that looks good. So the last thing I want to do here is I'm going to add a drop shadow to help the text kind of pop out from the page. It's really subtle, but it's really kind of a nice little effect. I'm going to go to Shadow, go to Preset, and you have all these different options. But what I'm going to do is choose the first A here because it's going to give us the most common type of shadow, which is going to be offset on the bottom and the right. I can click on that. Now you have other options here to play with the shadows, and you can play with that. I can even increase the distances if I want. But I'm just going to have it just maybe up just a little bit. There we go. And it pops out just a little bit. I'm satisfied with that, and I hit close. That's it. Now, by the way, if you're going to use this text later on in a presentation, you can simply copy it and go ahead and edit this, because this is all editable text. 
Other options you can do here, here's a combination of what I just showed you where I didn't do a gradient, but just a solid with an outline. You can also start taking some of these text effects, where here is really not as much a text effects, but just increasing the size of the font and having two different colors. And the same with this. So you have lots of different options to really help your text stand out and become more of a visual element within your presentation. Well, that's just the beginning. Lots of other tools you can play with within the text effects. Well, until the next time, I hope you always find unique ways to make your next presentation more engaging. Take care.